What's up everybody, Chris here from Bold Canyon Outdoors, and today I wanted to bring you a request video. So I've had a few inquiries, people have reached out to me and asked me about my Condition 1 case that carries my first aid kit. This goes with us in the Jeep, it goes with us in the truck, it goes with us camping, it goes with us everywhere, and it's very, very comprehensive. I had a lot of help from Safety First Medical putting this together and Condition 1. It's nice and compact carries just about everything I could think of and Safety First Medical could think of, with the exception of a couple of things. There's a couple of things I keep outside of this case. Now, this case is very comprehensive. It's got tons of stuff in it, but there are a few things that I want to keep readily available so I don't have to jump in and start digging if I have an emergency. The first is my Recon Medical Bleed Kit. This has a tourniquet, it has bleed stop, it has gloves, has band-aids in it, just because if I get into a situation where I need to stop some bleeding, I don't want to have to dig into the big case and start shuffling around, find my tourniquet, things like that. I want it to be handy and readily available, so I keep that kit out. Second, I have a kit like this in every vehicle and in every pack. This is our Simple Basics pack. And what this has, it's got Band-Aids, alcohol swabs, scissors, Vaseline, you know, all the kind of real basic stuff you'd need. Band-Aids of all different sizes because, I mean, let's face it, I've got kids and they've got me. We get bumps, we get scrapes, we get bruises. So digging into the big case just to grab a Band-Aid out can sometimes be kind of a pain. So we keep the little cases with the real basic first aid kit and the bleed kit outside of the main case. So let's dig in and see what's in the Condition 1 case. I've got the camera set up pretty high. Hopefully I've got enough room to keep everything on camera, but let's dig in. So I chose the Condition 1 case because it's dust proof, waterproof. It's got a seal all the way around. It's got a really nice clasp system. I'll show you that. So you got this little vent right here that allows it to bleed air if it needs to without popping the seal. You can lock these cases and it does have these really nice clasps. So just lift up to open and push on the center to lock it down. So it's a very simple, easy to use lock. So let's pop into it. As you can see, I've got a ton of stuff in here. So I'm gonna pull it all out and set it aside and kind of show you what's in the all-inclusive first aid kit. So first thing I need to do is I need to push this way up here because I'm gonna cover all this with stuff. So we've got gloves. I have both large and medium, six pairs each, because not everybody has large hands and not everybody has small hands. So I wanted to make sure I had both sizes there. This is all sterilized gauze and bandages. Luckily, Safety First Medical has the ability to sterilize stuff. So he put together some packages for me where they're airtight, sterilized, and these are all ready to go. So I've got three by threes, four by fours, all kinds of different gauze pads in there. Got the clear film to go over the gauze. So that's a real nice setup, a whole bunch of them in there. Whew, where do I start? So there is a lot of first aid gear and a lot of survival gear in here too, because like I said, this is just kind of a go anywhere, do anything. I want to have a little bit of everything just in case. And you're probably looking at this right here. Why is there a can in there? Well, that is a can of blue can water. This is purified water. It has a 50 year shelf life on it and hydration is key. So I always consider that to be part of a first aid kit. I do have other provisions for water in here, but we'll start with the can of blue can water. I have a pack, a three pack of travel antibacterial travel wipes. So it's always good to have wipes in there. I'm just gonna work my way through it. Two little packages of liquid skin. So this is technically a liquid bandage for minor cuts and scrapes, abrasions, things like that. Good stuff to have. Cold pack, gotta have one of those in there. Bandana. You can use it as a face mask. You can use it to tie something off. All kinds of different uses. You know, everybody should have a bandana in their car or in their pack. I have a couple of 12 hour, six inch glow sticks. These are the, the chemical light sticks that you crack and shake. I've got a green one and a white one. Got a Sharpie. Always need a permanent pen just in case. What if you need to write on your skin some instructions or you need to write on any sort of material? I also have somewhere hiding in here a write in the rain notebook. So I've got pen and paper, cotton tip applicator. These are a six inch cotton tip applicator. So they're nice and long. Let's see, cotton balls. Got those with the cotton tip applicators. Triangular bandage. 
we'll start over here. I have all kinds of tape. I have cling wrap, stretch wrap, several of them. Because these are all single use. Medical tape here. Different wraps in case you need a wrap of an ankle. Your, your, your standard medical wrap here. More tape. Never know when you're going to need medical tape. All right, so I'm going to need to slide some of this stuff aside. We're going to be taking up a lot of space on this table. Bear with me. So this is Gen 1 spray. This is dog spray. So I, we bring our dogs with us everywhere. So this is a, an antimicrobial germ spray for dogs. So if the dog gets a cut, scratch, wound, they, they mess up a pad or something like that, I have some medical spray for the pups. Always got to think about the people you bring with it, whether it's people, dogs, cats, tortoises, whatever. Make sure you've got the right gear for them. Got paracord. Never know when you need to tie something up. Paracord is always good to have. It's compact, it's lightweight, and it's got like a 500 pound braking strength. Got gauze pads, never have too many of those. These are the two by twos, these are small ones. My, my gauze pads in this package up here are mainly three by threes, four by fours, and two by threes, so they're bigger. So these are a little bit smaller, come in a nice little package of 10. Okay, medications, Excedrin migraine. Got some anti-diarrheal, got some kind of a Pepto style stomach relief chewable tablet. Non-stick pads. So these are just a uh, wound protection non-stick pad here. So if you got scratches, cuts, things like that, you can cover it up. These aren't gonna stick to it. Help you get on the mend. I have four of these. So these are emergency ponchos. And these guys are good for all kinds of stuff. They keep you dry, obviously, that's the primary thing, but you can also hang it up like a tarp. You can wrap stuff in it. It's just good to have a lightweight, waterproof, poncho style thing. So I got four of those in there. This is a portable bivy made by Sol. So this is essentially a small survival shelter, bivouac, sleeping bag, whatever, something you can crawl into, keep warm. If you're out in the elements, obviously you don't want to get hypothermic. Fist size, compact. Emergency whistle with a compass, always good to have. A little bit of survival gear, triple antibiotic ointment. I actually have a couple of those. Two of those, and I also have a hydrocortisone cream. So this is gonna be for your cuts and scratches and things like that. Hydrocortisone cream is gonna be more for rashes, itching and scratching, more dermal stuff on your skin. We've got a couple of pocket tissues here, little travel Kleenexes. They're light, they don't take up much space. Okay, I've got lip balm. Never underestimate the power of the elements to really mess with your lips. Once you start getting dry, cracked, bleeding lips, it just becomes super miserable. So get some lip balm in your travel pack. Spare batteries, got a few triple A's and a few double A's in there, just in case I've got a flashlight or something that needs a battery. These. Dryer lint. This is probably the most overlooked and most effective for the weight fire starter you can get. Starts real quick and you can get some tinder on it from there and if you need to start a fire to keep warm, got yourself a fire starter that's lightweight. Got a whole bunch of single use super glue. This is sort of a worst case scenario if you get a deep cut and you don't have access to stitching material or a ambulance or something like that or you have a pet that cut themselves open, you can use a single use super glue. Super glue, coincidentally enough, was originally designed as a suture replacement many, 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 many decades ago. So it will work on your skin. You can bond skin up. It says bonds instantly. Don't get it on your fingers if you don't want them to get stuck together. So I always keep some of the single use super glue in there. All right, we're getting down to the bottom. Portable water filter. So this is little water filter. You know, worst case scenario, you can jam one end in a stream and you can sip right out of it. Gotta have water, gotta stay hydrated. Have a couple of these hand sanitizers, travel size. The travel size is great. Small, lightweight, doesn't take up much space. Got some bleed stop. Minor cuts to major wounds. So this is a, a bleed stop powder. I do have more of this in my bleed kit, but I have a little box of it in here also. Multi-tool. Got knife, screwdrivers, little tools, bottle opener, all the stuff you need. Got more tapes in here, more bandages, more medical tape. I do have a whole bunch of these single use packs of Aleve and Advil. This is your standard Mylar survival blanket. Never know when you need to be covered up and kept warm. Tweezers. Strike anywhere storm matches. 
More crazy glue. This is a bigger pack. I've got the little singles here, but I got a couple of the big ones here. Now this is Novasan. This is a cleansing solution. This is good for washing out wounds on dogs, an ear cleaner, skin prep, alcohol swabs, lots of those in there. And once again, for keeping stuff clean, a bit of tape. And finally, a small package of duct tape. Duct tape holds everything together. So this is it. This is, oh, sorry. There's another small roll of duct tape in there too. And this all sits in the Condition One case. And like I said, it's got a seal all the way around. I don't know if I'm off screen or not. I pulled all the foam out except for the top egg crate. That way I can fit all of this stuff in here and have it be protected from the elements and protected from knocking around in the back of the truck. So that's it. That is what is in my Condition 1 case. It's my first aid kit, a bit of survival gear, and essentially all of the necessities for the what if. If you have an idea or you see something I'm missing, comment below, because I want this to be super comprehensive and I know everybody's got an opinion of what you should bring. And I know somebody already told me that I need to put Tylenol in here because not everybody can take a leave or Advil. So I'm gonna get some of the Tylenol single packs and get some of them in there. But yeah, definitely leave comments. Let me know what you think of this setup. It's really burly, heavy duty case, goes anywhere, and it's pretty lightweight. So nothing to complain about on my end. And do me a favor, hit that like and hit that subscribe button down there. I'm gonna keep bringing you more innovative products, more reviews, more adventures, all kinds of fun stuff. And I greatly appreciate your support. So that's it for now. Any questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. This is Chris for Bold Canyon Outdoors. Happy trails, everybody.